Welcome to Film and Page. I'm Dominic. And I got some Masters of the Universe news I wanted to talk about. So in this video, there's two articles, both from the same webpage I'm going to talk about. And the first one is going to be the Kevin Smith show that's coming out. And then the second one is going to be that other 3D CGI uh, He-Man reboot that's coming to Netflix. So here's the first article. Masters of the Universe Revelation showrunner Kevin Smith says character designs haven't been changed. Masters of the Universe Revelation is an upcoming Netflix original anime series based on the classic He-Man and Masters of the Universe animated series from the 1980s. This isn't to do with the other 3D CG He-Man and Masters of the Universe animated series that's in the works at Netflix to be clear. Kevin Smith serves as showrunner of Masters of the Universe Revelation. The voice cast includes Mark Hamill as Skeletor, Lena Hetty as Evil Inn, Chris Wood as Prince Adam, a.k.a. He-Man, Sarah Michelle Gellar as Tila, and many more. Last month, Smith provided an update on the upcoming anime series, revealing that it's still in production despite the lockdown. Well, Smith even more recently spoke with comicbook.com and revealed that the upcoming series will essentially be an anime version of the classic one. Not only does it pick up immediately where the original series left off, but all the characters look exactly the same. The character designs haven't been altered whatsoever according to Smith. Powerhouse animation absolutely killed it. This artwork is amazing. The design work that Powerhouse has done absolutely spellbinding. Smith spoke about the art style. It's in the style of an anime, what Netflix calls an anime original, but looks exactly like our classic characters. Nobody's been redesigned to wear your O. Oh, that's the 2020 version. They all look like they're supposed to, and the story functions as essentially the next episode when the 1980s original animated series stopped. And on the tone, we begin where they ended, the same tone like that, and then our tone shifts as something cataclysmic happens. That's where our modern story kicks in. Even then, it's not like everything you know about He-Man is wrong. We're gonna upend the universe. So that's interesting. So what I'm getting from this article is the character's animation look, style is going to be updated, but their character's designs are going to stay the same as they were in the 1980s car cartoon. Which I actually like that idea. There's kind of part of me, I kind of wish they kind of kept the filmation style, or uh, I don't know, for this. <laughs> I kind of wish that instead of modernizing it to look more anime. So I'm really curious to see what they're going to look like then. Uh, hopefully get some images or something soon. On what these characters will look like. Uh, so this mini series that uh, they're doing, I'm actually really excited about this. This is something that uh, I think a lot of classic He-Man fans are gonna really gobble up and uh, I can't wait to see this on Netflix and uh, hopefully it comes soon, who knows, I know because of the whole thing that's going on right now everything's held up. It sounds like it's still the ball still rolling on, on it. So now we're gonna talk about the other He-Man uh, series. So this is the second article from the same website. New He-Man and Masters of the Universe CG cartoon in the works at Netflix. It seems Netflix thinks two animated He-Man series are better than one, as the streaming giant has announced plans for a new CG reboot. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe will be the second animated series in development at Netflix after Masters of the Universe Revelation was announced back in August. The animated reboot will be 3D CG, while the anime sequel will use traditional 2D animation techniques. You can read an official synopsis for the new show at the bottom of the page. Adam Bonnet, Christopher Keenan, and Rob David are serving as executive producers on the show which will have its story overseen by comic book scribe turned TV writer Brian Q. Miller, Arrow, Smallville, Sleepy Hollow. So um, this one apparently is going to be a reboot. It has no connection to the miniseries, which, um, it, which is going to be disappointing if I really enjoy that uh, miniseries that comes out. So they, 
there's two images floating around that are kind of like visual teasers, I guess, of this new series. Something similar to what they did to the She-Ra cartoon. Now here's one uh, that was put out by Netflix. And just by looking at this image, I gotta be honest, this series I'm not nearly as excited for as I am the mini series. One, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, a lot of these cartoons going like 3D animation, like with the 3D CGI cartoons. Like I'm not a big fan of that. I'd rather see something uh, in 2D animation instead, uh, like what they're doing with the miniseries. I wish the reboot was doing that as well. And the other thing, we kind of get a little bit of a glance at the power sword there, and it looks like they're going for that 2000X look, where it's kind of has that more mechanized look to it. And I'll be honest, I did not like that power sword that from the 2000X series. Um, I much rather the his classic sword, if they went with that design and said instead, since this is a reboot. So I don't know. It's, I have to wait and see until we get actual clear images to see what they're going to look like the character designs. And uh, this was the other one that was put out. Now this is one of Skeletor, and this one too. Like not really super impressed with that one either uh so i don't know how the look of this show is gonna go but i'll wait until i see like how it looks like when it's you can get actually see some of the animation and some clear pictures but for the reboot i'd rather than go traditional 2d so that's uh that's it for masters of the universe news i guess until something new drops so that's everything i got to say in this video let me know what you think in the comment section and i will see you at the next one I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you all in helping this channel grow. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded.